Hi everyone, Dennis Willey from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a little thought or idea that I had because I play a lot of songs over and over and again. Obviously I do that, well I like them, but they exhibit something I need to test something I'm doing in the rooms. So you need that predictability and consistency. You know the frequency response of source. You, you need to know all those things so you can apply it correctly and you know get a, a measurable difference. So, I, I think about all these, th these songs I play all the time, and I'm sure you have these too, you know, your favorites, your go-to, that if you get a new piece of gear or something, they're the first songs you play to notice the difference because you really uh, notice and, and understand the recording. So, I was wondering why I have the same feeling every time I listen to the song, even a particular part of the song, even though I've heard it like thousands of times in my life. You ever think about that? Why does it keep having the same impact? Usually things that you do over and over again become monotonous and uh, lose interest in them because there's too much frequency. They're happening all the time and you just, you know, they get pushed to the side. But it doesn't happen. And I don't and I talk to a lot of people about this and it doesn't happen with them either. They they always each time they play a particular song or band or whatever, they react inside the same way. Well, I got to thinking about what causes that? Is there a bio system that we're that we have inside of us that might produce that? And I looked started doing some research and I came across the limbic uh, system. And it's the hypothalamus, oh, don't ask me to say that, thalamus and hippocampus. I believe these are glands. There's some structures inside of our bodies, our brains probably, and they work as a system. You know, what they are is not that critical, but the important thing is they work as a system. They facilitate memory storage and retrieval, establish emotional states, and link consciousness. Jeez. That's a lot of things going on, right? Here's another definition. Lower order emotional processing. This is what I'm kind of interested in. Of sensory system input. Songs, music, instruments, voice. System input. So let's call this whole process a resonance. Just for purposes of, of this discussion. So... Favorite music, song, instrument, no matter how many times you get that same resonance. So what we just described in the beginning, that ability to uh, be emotionally moved by it every time you've played it, even though you've played it thousands of times, there's got to be something else going on that you're not really conscious of. Your body's reacting to something, and we're going to call that uh, a resonance. I think that's a, a good way to uh, look at it. For me, you know, it's the bend of strings, the tone in a bend. Um, it's the uh, drums, the rim shot, the kick, obviously, is always good. Voice, I mean, think about all the songs you listen to and the different styles of singing. It's amazing, you know, it's amazing. But that one note that's held for six counts or something like that is resonates the same way with you all the time. Just, you know, just a thought I had about that because how many times in life you keep doing something and it, and it still maintains the same feeling about it, the same joy, if you will, that it did when you first started doing it years ago. That's a tough, that's a tough thing to keep. I can probably think of two or three things in my whole life that have kept that. And uh, music and working in, in rooms to make it sound good has been one of them. So just an idea I had. Tell me what you think. I don't know. I'm just trying to piece a couple things together, you know, and look at why we do what we do. So Limbic Residence. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.